What's up YouTube? Today I'm actually going to show you my main box from the actual game listing and to the outside. I'll talk about it, talk about how I programmed it, and yeah, so let's get started. So I figured I'd start the video from a first person view to show you my main box. So if you've ever seen my videos inside the game room, this is how I, what I'm looking at. Technically I'm looking at the tripod that's sitting here. This is my TV. And if you look right over here, there's three Xboxes. One of those are my precious main box. So let's take a look. Here it is, my main box. Yeah, it's just a regular Xbox with an 8 gig hard drive. That's what the original standard hard drive is. I never put a bigger one in. This one has a bigger one, just saying. Anyway, so this just has a standard Xbox hard drive. Um, no, I can't play regular Xbox games on it. The hard drive is completely full with just main games. And if you've ever watched the live streams, it boots up right to the arcade games. And I'll show you that shortly. So, this is the artwork. I actually did this all myself. It's some of my favorite arcade characters. And for people who don't know who they are, I'll slowly go through. We have Bub and Bob from Bubble Bobble, Frogger, Pac-Man, uh, Dig Dug, I think they're called Pokies, I can never remember, Cubert, a Space Invader, uh, Princess Daphne from Dragon's Lair, which is kind of funny because I can never get Dragon's Lair to work on my coin op, so it's kind of funny that I put her there. Tapper, Donkey Kong, and Blanca from Street Fighter. So... That's my, the outside of the Xbox. So why don't we take a better look at the actual software and what games are on here. So let's get started. So hopefully you can hear me. I did a couple of tests. This seemed to be about right. So I'm actually, for people who haven't seen my live stream, this is the setup for my live stream. I have a better HD webcam now. Still trying to get the use to it so deal with that sorry um actually this is actually the screen saver when the main box is actually on screen saver mode um sorry i press the wrong button when you do that you kind of dink with everything there we go so We're actually going to reboot it right from the start and let you see what it's like. <clears throat> okay, so when you boot it up, it goes to the last game you've played. Hopefully by the time you've seen this, I've done more live streams than this. So, as you can see, you have this nice picture on the right, the arcade machine. You can actually change that to the full screen. Um, there's ways to mod this. This runs off coin ops for anybody who's interested. Uh, some great videos out there. I'm not going to tell you how to do it. You can check out videos, but this is mine. Anything that's in the yellow are favorite games of mine. And you can change that as you can see. Um, games like this that doesn't have the marquee or the picture, those are games that I put on that the person who got me the files didn't have on that I wanted to play um, that I know of everything on here works like Alien 3 is actually one of the light gun games but you can play it on an Xbox controller I'm just gonna go through and let you see what games there are I'll fire up one or two here and there to kinda show it off A lot of these games I haven't even had a chance to play yet. Now, like a game like Battletoads, that's the arcade game. Everything on here except Doom is an arcade game. Uh, why is the marquee missing? Because I read online that you can make your own marquees, and I spent some time making some really cool original arcade marquees. I found the originals, because the, as you can tell, Battletoads didn't have an original, and for some reason it wouldn't load on my main box. 
that happens. And like I said, if you have not seen my live streams, most of the time I play a MAME game. Just easy pick up and play, have some fun for an hour or two. Uh, they are on my uh, YouTube channel as Let's Plays now. Not all, all of them are good. Maybe I think it's my part two of Ninja Baseball Batman. If you're interested in watching any, watch part two because part two is where I got a mic and it's not all echoey and crap. Uh, if you've never played it, Cave, uh, Caveman Ninja is really fun. It's Joe and Mac. Lots of fun games. And the reason I did this is because I wanted an arcade machine. What's this? Crazy Kong. I think... I actually think one of the Crazy Kongs don't work. Um, so. And I tried to add that myself. But anyways, why did I make this main box? It's because I wanted an arcade machine, and at the time I actually only lived in a one-bedroom apartment. So when I heard about this, I had to do it. I actually love this. I've actually sold a couple to a couple of friends of mine who wanted them. I like to mod stuff. My Wii, one of my Wiis are modded. It's always fun. Double Dragon... 3 does not work. I actually had to reboot the system. I've been trying to get a certain Neo Geo game to work that I actually found on John's Arcade. He bought it and I wanted to try it. So now that I live in a bigger place, you might be wondering what is my next thing? Well, I actually am planning to build a full-out MAME arcade machine using a Raspberry Pi. Now my game plan, if I can find out how to do it properly, is to run not just MAME games, but the Nintendo vs. games that are original arcade machine games. Um, Daphne, I really want to play Space Ace, Cobra Commander, Dragon's Lair 1 and 2. So hopefully I can figure out how to do that soon. I actually have the Pi. I went to the our public library around here. Sorry to interrupt this, but ice hockey is another one that works. But as you know, um, our public library around here has 3D printing, and I love it. I've 3D printed a lot of stuff. But I actually 3D printed my own case for the Raspberry Pi. I'm using a Raspberry Pi 2. Because I have no need for Wi-Fi once it's all done. I just hook it up to an Ethernet cord. I'm lucky everything in my place is pretty close. So I don't need to run cord all over the house. Um, I got a 2 because once it's done and has all the games I want on there that are working. I'm happy. No point in hooking up to the internet. Just like this Mario from the arcade. I wanted the original marquee. It didn't load for some reason. But yeah, I got a case. The case is pink and blue. If you follow me on Instagram, it's on there. I wanted black and blue, but because I'm using public 3D printing machines and everything, not everything works. I actually am excited for when... Uh, 3D printers become like available to everybody. It'll be an interesting world then. Lots of games. We have 557 games. And you know what's funny? I spend most of my time when I play this playing classic games. Like all of these are classics. But, I mean, like, Pac-Man, Frogger, Space Invaders. So. Um, I'm actually going to actually shoot a video when we start doing the arcade machine. I'm actually looking for a shell right now. I could build my own. I just kind of want to repurpose a crappy game. Um, like, if a Frogger, for instance, or a Pac-Man came in my possession... I would not tear that down if it worked 100%. Maybe needed some little fix in here and there. I'd fix those and keep those as those machines. But I mean like a Capcom bowling. 
I am going to gut it, sand off the sides. The wife and I are actually going to paint the sides with all our favorite characters using stencils. Too much by hand to do it because we figured in a day we could probably get both sides stenciled up and then maybe a week of painting. But hopefully it all works out. I'm hoping to get it done before my birthday. My birthday is in October, so I got some time. I got the main part. The pie is the main part. I've got retro pie. If anybody knows how to put Daphne on there, like properly, I have Daphne, but I can't get any ROMs to work. So if you know how to do that, please tell me in the descriptions. Make a response video helping me. I'm more of a visual person. If I can watch you do it, I can do it 30 times just by watching the video twice. Some really fun games. Lots of Street Fighter. You actually find out how much Street Fighter is in here. Now we're getting into some interesting stuff. So here we have Ninja Turtles and here we have Ninja Turtles Extra. So I did this myself. Um, I added so this is the two-player version. The extra is the four-player version. How does the four-player version work? So let's say I want to be Leonardo. I actually have to plug my controller into the right port. It registers as Leonardo. Turtles 2, a.k.a. Turtles in Time. And that's only the one. It's two players. This is a fun game. Uh, you can also play it on the Nintendo, which actually plays just like the arcade game. I think it's called Crazy Kiwi as the NES game. Actually, it's on my shelf over here. Unfortunately, you can't see the shelf. Same with Simpsons. Simpsons is two player. Simpsons is four player. So, it's a really fun thing. I could actually speed this up a bit. We're almost to the end. What a long video. Just showing you the... I honestly don't know why none of these have... Wacko I put on. I actually played a Wacko machine. It was a blast, so I had to put it on here. WrestleFest is also one of my favorite wrestling arcade games. And then it comes pre-installed. It's Doom. Doom 2. And I'm also putting Doom 2 on my main machine. I also want to put Night Trap on there. I just think it'd be fun to play Night Trap on an arcade stick. That's the only difference. So, um, so yeah, that's it. 557 games. Uh, let me, let's, let's just do what I, I usually wrap up a, uh, I usually wrap up my live stream doing a Frogger game because a buddy of mine and I have kind of a Frogger tournament. We went to the Niagara Falls Comic Con last year and they had a Frogger table and we just kind of got wrapped up trying to beat each other's scores. Did it just freeze on me? I hope not. It did freeze up on me. That does happen from time to time. One sec. So there we are. We're back. See, it loads up. It's just an Xbox that's modded. I highly enjoy it. Say what you will about modding. So, sorry about that. It does freeze from time to time. It's old technology, man. So, like I said, I'll play a couple rounds, maybe a round of Frogger. And we'll call this video quit. Um, if you're wondering when I do live streams, it's more last minute. I just kind of announce it on Twitter. I try to do it an hour before, just because busy. What do you do? If you wondered why I'm looking off screen, it's I'm actually looking at my TV. I've always loved playing Frogger. And ever since Steve and I started doing a bit of a 
jackass tournament. Why? Because we're both jackasses. It was pretty fun. People were watching us play and we we're I I honestly think we were getting a little loud, but that's okay. It's Comic Con. Comic Cons are always fun. I enjoy it. For the first level I usually have a I go from left to right on the first level. I always try doing it on the second, but it's really hard. You see that awesome score? That's pretty cool. So, that's my little way I do the first level of Frogger. Second, I, I always try doing the second level that way, but it seems never to work out. Oh, just on the edge too, eh? What do you do? There we go. I usually try not to risk around with the uh, gators, but... Ah, oh, I missed that. Just by the edge. And I was trying to rush to get the female frog. Ah, uh, I don't know what I was thinking. I don't really know there. Um, yeah. To exit, we press the back and the select button at the same time. And we're back to our main screen. Um, yeah, so that's my main box. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like it because you don't like my ugly mug on your screen, give it a thumbs down. <laughs> you don't have to like everything on YouTube. Um, this is usually the format I use when I stream on YouTube. So uh, don't forget to subscribe. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter. You can also check out the Facebook page. And until next time, stay crazy, my friends. Happy gaming. And until next time, thanks for watching. Cheers.